Hello. I wanted to share with you um, what happened in 1969, one time at the Maryland School Institute, and it impacted a lot of new teachers there um, at the school. There were some deaf teachers, and um, a few of them were asking the class if we knew the new signs for uh, weather, and you know, the class stirred back and didn't know in winter, and they're still puzzled, and also the sign for a room. And, they didn't really see that, but they explained to them that it was weather, winter, and then the sign for room. So it was some new signs there in 1969. They're new thinking um, and what what's going on. So uh, they noticed that through then, from 1970s on, um, impacted interpreters with um, carpal tunnel syndrome and they're wondering how and why, and they think the theory was with the hand, um, the carpal is right there in the hand, and you need to think of the letter R. Okay, this is the best example I can give you, um, and how the muscles are uh, being strained some areas, and when you move it, they're going to be strained again. Um, and in the hand there, kind of shows it again and again, um, so if you keep repeating that muscle, so, um, so now it's changed, instead of the R is kind of harder, it's going to be a flat hand, so, um, I remember the CODA interpreters out there were impacted with carpal tunnel, um, but the people that were just learning sign language weren't really, so he was just trying to compare the two with the carpal tunnel syndrome cause that, um, so that's what I have to offer you.